Cooking with Claudia. Today I'm going to show you how I put together my cheese and charcuterie board. I can't see right. Oh my gosh. <sighs> charcuterie board. I really love the idea of a charcuterie board because it's such a great way to showcase all your cheese, meat and nuts and it's so much fun to put together. It's also an amazing way to bring your friends and family in one big circle to wine, dine, and enjoy all the food on the board. And the charcuterie board I'm using today was sent to me by a cheese board company called Kuzara. I really enjoy using this board, so if you guys are interested in getting one, I'm going to leave a link in the description box. Now let's get started. Alright you guys, so I have an assortment of cheese and meat for my cheese board together with other ingredients. I'm going to go through everything I have here, that way you can have an idea of what to get for your cheese board. I'm using some prosciutto and smoked salami. I've also got some calabrese and peppered salami together with some Italian salami. You want to use a good variety of meat, that way your guests can enjoy your cheese board very well. For cheese, I'm using Colby Jack cheese and this one over here is pepper jack cheese mixed with almonds. I am also using a mixture of nuts and some dried fruits. I am using almonds for my nuts and this one is fig spread. I am using some grapes and over here I have some dried mini bread, some crackers, you can use whatever crackers you love. And on this tray I have some cheddar cheese, some more sliced meat, dark chocolate, olives and some more crackers. So you're going to get your cheese board ready to assemble and I want to show you some cool features of this cheese board. It has two sliding trays that expand from each side of the board and this is going to hold a whole lot of food and keep everything in place. It also comes with some utensils including some cheese knives and forks as well as a spatula and two little finger forks. I think these little utensils are so cute. Alright, now let's start assembling. So you want to go ahead and put all your cheese on the actual cheese plate because that's the purpose. And I'm placing the little sliced cheese around the big cheese. I'm going to place a few grapes in between the cheese just for a little pop of color. And I'm doing the same with the olives and the dark chocolate. I'm also adding some almonds. Next, I'm arranging the different types of meat onto the sides of the board. And I'm going to place a bunch of grapes onto the left corner and lay some crackers in front of them. I'm going to finish off that side with a handful of almonds and dried fruits. Then, we're going to fill the other side with some dried mini bread and some more crackers, as well as some olives. The cheese board comes with two ramekins securely placed on each side. They're perfect for dippings and spreads, so I'm going to use those for my fig spread. Now that the middle portion of the board is assembled, we're going to fill up the sides of the tray. So I'm just going to do some more crackers and nuts on one side of the tray. You can also do more meat if you want. And on the other side, I'm going to do some crackers, olives, and dark chocolate. And that's it you guys. I really had fun putting everything together. And this premium board is really great if you're looking to invest in one. And also, the cheese slate in the middle is removable, so it makes cleanup very easy. You don't have to clean up the whole bamboo wood. I actually really love this board. I think it's very classy and outstanding. So. Don't forget to check the description box if you guys are interested and thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye!